if you were to visualize the baguette in thirds, you want to keep your score in that center third the whole time. Odd amounts of scores look better than even amounts, so I like to do mine in threes, but you can also do them in fives. Each score has a slight overlap, so the next score overlaps the previous one by about, let's say, uh, nearly an inch. I'm gonna score this one incorrectly just for the visual and go across, which some people do, and you'll see the difference in the final product. Here is the weird one that I scored across the baguette, and so it's very clear when you put it up against a specimen as nice as that one, very curious how this one looks on the inside. You can tell that it doesn't even open up quite as much on the inside because of the scoring. 